Now, fingers are still being pointed following the climate talks in Copenhagen after significantly less was agreed on there than had been hoped. But as governments ponder their next environmental steps on the world stage, steps at a smaller scale are being taken to tackle global warming. This Christmas, some Shanghai residents have foregone real trees in favour of greener substitutes. VUN's Neva Wyman has more. It's not a white Christmas, but a green one here at the Shanghai Ocean Aquarium. No living trees were cut down, but instead, all these trees were made out of recycled materials, such as paper cups, newspapers and leaflets. What gift did you get? I got a recycled bag. Why do you use recycled bags? It can make our living environment better. My Green Christmas is an annual contest that aims to promote a greener attitude in society. Visitors get a chance to vote both in person and online for their favorite Christmas tree, with the winner invited to attend an award ceremony on December 26. But the aquarium can't possibly display this giant tree made from more than 12,000 beer bottles. In fact, it's not in the competition at all, but is being displayed at a shopping center in the city. The design is pretty good. It's better than just throwing these bottles away. For many Americans, Christmas might be the most challenging time to be green. The amount of gift cards, wrapping paper and plastic bags used at this time of year is enormous. In fact, according to the Environmental Protection Agency, American household garbage grows by 25 percent in December. But with climate change a central issue over the past few weeks, more people seem to have a greener outlook. One recent survey says 43 percent of U.S. consumers polled say they intend to give green gifts this holiday season. And while China could learn a lot from the U.S. by having more organized and far-reaching recycling schemes, many in the U.S. could learn from China in terms of creatively reusing what might otherwise become trash. Neva Wyman, BON.